dimensional analysis. So in this video I am going to explain dimensions of physical quantities. So you know that there are seven fundamental quantities. These base quantities are known as dimensions. There are seven fundamental quantities. Dimensions of a physical quantity is denoted inside a bracket. For example, dimension of length is capital L within the bracket, square bracket. Mass, dimension of mass is capital M within the square bracket. Time, capital T. Electric current, capital A. Electric current is measured in ampere, that's why it is A. Dimension of electric current is A. Dimension of temperature is capital K. Temperature is measured in Kelvin. Luminous intensity is measured in cantilla, so its dimension is CD within the bracket or phi. Another representation is there. Then amount of substance mole within the square bracket. Dimensions of derived quantities can be represented in terms of these base quantities. Uh, then dimensions of a physical quantity are defined as the powers to which the base quantities are raised. Dimension of a derived quantity can be obtained from uh, dimensions of a fundamental quantity. Area is a derived quantity. Area of a rectangle, for example, depends on length and breadth. Area is length into breadth. So, length dimension is capital L. Again, breadth is the that is also measured in meter. So, its dimension is also L. So, dimension of area is L square within the square bracket. Volume of a cuboid is the length into breadth into height. So, all are measured in meters and dimension is capital L. So, it is L cube. So, dimension of volume is L cube. Dimension of density is M by L cube. Density, mass divided by volume. Mass, dimension is capital M. Volume, dimension is L cube. So, it can be written like this. M, L raised to minus 3 within the square bracket. Speed, you know the equation or of distance divided by time. Distance is the length between two points, so it is the dimension is capital L. Time, dimension is T, L by T, so it can be written like this, LT raised to minus 1. So dimension of speed is LT raised to minus 1. Velocity is displacement by time. So there is a difference between speed and velocity that you are going to see elaborately later. Displacement, dimension is capital L. Time, dimension is capital T. So it can be written like this. So LT raised to minus 1. There can be different quantities with the same dimension. For example, speed and velocity, dimension are same. LT raised to minus 1, LT raised to minus 1. Dimensions of a physical quantity are the powers to which the fundamental quantities are raised. Physical quantities can be divided into four categories. Dimensional variables, dimensionless variables, 
dimensional constants, dimension less constants. Area, speed, velocity, acceleration, force, such quantities got the dimensions. But it can take any values. For example, speed. You can travel with 5 meter per second or 3 meter per second. It can take any values. So it's a variable. Velocity, accelerate. But it has got dimension. Such quantities are coming under the heading dimensional variables. Then there are some quantities. There are no dimension. Ex example, specific gravity. Refractive index, strain. So the the variables, specific gravity can take any values of kerosene, specific gravity is 0.8, water it is 1. So it can take different values, variable, but there is no dimension. In specific gravity or relative density is the density of the substance divided by the density of water. It's a ratio of the density of substance to the density of water. So there is no dimension. Refractive index is the ratio of velocity of light in air to the velocity of light in the medium. Velocity there is a dimension but when you take the ratio there will not be dimension. So such quantities are coming under the heading dimension less variables. Next dimensional constants. Example gravitational constant Planck's constant, there are dimension for these quantities, but they are constants. Gravitational constant, the value is 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 11. Planck's constant value is 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 34. They are constants, but there are dimension. Gravitational constant the dimension is m raised to minus 1 l cube t raised to minus 2. Planck's constant the dimension is m l square t raised to minus 1. Then there are some other types of quantities. They are dimension less constants. So there is no dimension but they are constant. Pi 3.14, E 2.718, approximately E is 2.718. Now let's see the principle of homogeneity of dimensions. So you know this is the correct equation you will learn in uh, loss of when you deal with the loss of motion. V square is equal to u square plus 2as. Velocity dimension is lt raised to minus 1. It's a square. So you square it. So l square t raised to minus 2. So dimension of this term is l square t raised to minus 2. Next this term u square u is the initial velocity, v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity. So velocity dimension is lt raised to minus 1, its square is the, so l square t raised to minus 2. Now you take this term, 2as, u square plus 2as, so 2as, 2, constant no dimension, acceleration dimension is lt raised to minus 2. S distance. Distance, the dimension is L. So L, L, so L square. Then T raised to minus 2. You can see dimensions of all the terms are same. From this you can understand, you can add quantities with the same dimensions. So principle of homogeneity of dimensions states that dimensions of each term of a physical expression are same. That's the principle of homogeneity of dimensions. So thank you for watching.